Good morning, y'all. It's Lippy. I will, whoa. Hang on. Y'all just hang on. You ain't getting me. Sorry, y'all. That was a, some kind of big beetle. I sucker. Where was I? It got in my bun yesterday when we was out in that shed working. I felt something crawling. I hollered Buddy. He had to go digging like a mama monkey in a little bee monkey's head. He had to dig and get that beetle out. But I keep this with me everywhere I go. It's a little child. Now, Buddy's had to fix it. Well, that sucker come up, I wasn't, I don't know if they buy it. First time I ever seen a beetle look like that. But I'm telling you what, it looked like about the size of a half dollar. Where in the world was I? Oh, I may have to cut this. No, I ain't going to cut it out. I'm too tired. Y'all, 12.55 a.m., power set. I called, reported it. I reported it at 2, reported it at 3. Phone starts dying. I go get Buddy's work phone and his personal phone. He gets up. You know, he wears one of those masks. He said, I was losing oxygen. <laughs> I was like, you should have lost it like five hours earlier, but that's all right. So he takes off south. I take off north on the main highway to see where the problem is. Because they kept saying it's going to restore at 5 a.m., 5 a.m. Y'all, it's 9 a.m. We trying to figure out how to get this generator because we haven't worked on that front shed. I'm going to show y'all what we worked on all weekend. And here sat a tree down with a, with a limb, okay, big limb, laid on it. And Buddy takes a picture. He comes home. Well, I found it. We wait another hour. I said, I'm going down there. Well, sure enough, the man done cut the tree. It was one person, one worker. And, uh, I went on headed north, probably about two miles. Here he was parked on the side of the road. Well, I got on the other side, put my hazard on. I'm waving at him. I said, can you tell me when the power's going to be restored? Uh, yeah, I'm working on that right now. I said, it took 10 hours to cut a limb off. I could have done when and cut the damn limb off. He just looked at me. So I made a U-turn. I come on back to the house. By the time I got home, there was power. So y'all know, that done messed my whole morning up. We had to go once it got daylight to find my little butane cans, pull out my camping stove, make some coffee. Well, by then, my Monday morning done went. So anyway, I was looking at my comments, and uh, I was supposed to show y'all my onions. Now, let me retract for you new ones. There was an old flower bed here. I said, I'll just beat it up. I got 70 onions. I'm going to put them in the ground. Y'all, I've been fighting uh, these things. They're like little canna lilies. So I've been plucking them. Now, I'm going to put them in a, in a bucket just to see what comes up. But when I show y'all, I mean, I got a mess. And I ju Buddy just weeded yesterday. I did one in, he did the other. So, and then I was uh, asked in the comments about my fig tree. Forgot to show the fig tree. So this is going to be update on onions, update on Lippy's fig tree, and then I'm going to put a picture in after we do this showing you what it looked like when we emptied a 12 by 12 building. And then I'm going to turn the camera on, and then I'm going to walk y'all through and show you how we have basically staged it until we can get some infrastructure, you know, built on the property. But I can see things. He can see things. Now we've got the 12 by 14 shed to do next weekend. That means bringing everything out, put it, unboxing, putting everything back in where our eyes can get on it. And then we're down to the garage, which you couldn't put a feather in there if you wanted to. But I'm very pleased at how my, the little one turned out. Now these buildings will have to be worked on. Um, some of the boards are rotten. There's two different kinds of tin, but all of that. Did y'all see that? That sucker come back alive. I'm telling you, I don't know what kind of beetle it is, 
But I'm going to figure out, I'm going to eradicate them too. He caught, y'all saw he caught me on the slide. So, I know y'all are just laughing your behinds off. But let me show you the onions. Then we're going to go to fig tree, and then I'll show you what we worked on. Yep, that about covers it. Hold on. And there is the onions. Now, I'm going to come around here. I'm going to show y'all something. Y'all may not see my head, but you're going to see me. This is what we're fighting. So, obviously, the previous owner had a hope. Well, I done broke it now. A whole bunch of bulbs. See that? And I have been fighting these things. But, hey, my onions are doing great. Uh, I did ring them a little bit last week just to see. I've got another, I don't know, probably another 10 days to go. And then I'll start ringing them more. Uh, I'm not going to get huge onions because I was eight weeks late. But I think I'm going to get some decent onions. I mean, they've got some really good tops. Five to six is the average. And they're looking good. You know, they, they're looking good. But there you go. There is Lippy's uh, emergency onion planting bed. Y'all, what was I thinking? But hey, if nothing else, I get some onion tops. That's the way Lippy looks at it. And there is my beautiful fig tree. Now this is a, a brown turkey neck. I did ask Mr. Danny what it was. But if y'all remember, let me get over here in the camera. You remember when I planted it, I mounded it up tall and I left a trench. Remember I did that for a solid 10 days. Then what I did is I came in and I brought the soil down and I came back with my straw. And y'all, it's grown. I know every bit of two inches. So, Lippy's fig tree is doing great. Okay, now I'm gonna insert, because I forgot to film. I'm just gonna insert a picture. The picture explains it all. Because when we did it, it was like, well, we putting all this stuff. <laughs> and I got war wounds, y'all. So if you look at my arms, yeah nails they had them big old hunker nails everywhere and you couldn't see them they was rusty and so they blended in and uh lippy found every one of them look like i've been in a war zone so i'm gonna insert the picture and then i'm gonna walk you and show you what we did with all that stuff and that came from a 12 by 12 building and it was also stacked some with some blue tarps that was real tattered. So, you know, it wasn't all in that 12 by 12, but about 80%. And then the big stuff we did have in the middle of the property just covered in a tarp. Can y'all see a difference? I think I'm about the same angle as I was when I took that previous picture you just saw. I'm going to walk you around and show you what we did. Temporary, but it actually makes sense. Okay, this, um, we really don't know what it's called, but this was already on the property. We were going to take it down, but instead we added some pallets at the bottom. And we added all of our fencing, garden cart, a boat motor we had, both lawnmowers. There's an old dog house we gotta tear down that's sitting there. But we tried to utilize and put everything in one area. So, so aesthetically it looks better, plus we can find it. Okay, other than my flat top grill and our red uh, grill that is actually, we use it on the porch that we pulled out some pallets, and this is what we done. We just added the rest of our outdoor grills and burners, our roll around fan, and there was some nails and stuff already on the side. So we just hung some metal chairs, the ramps, but you see it's off the ground. I can visually see, cause we do have copperheads out here. I can visually see things. Now, if you look, the door's seen its better days. 
it's just seen its better days. But we have these two barrels and they're full of shop uh, oils and brake fluid and things like that. And this old ice chest, it also goes to the mechanic shop. So we just housed it right here. There again, it's clean. And then this is the new storm door that we've got to get put into the building. We forgot to do that last night, y'all. And this is what we decided to do with the tools. We ran just a two by four. There again, I don't want anything on the ground. So we run that. And now I can put my eyes on all of our garden tools, except there's a couple of shovels in the garden that I'm using. But I think that for now it turned out good. Will we keep it here? No. But it's better than being piled up and zip tied. I'm gonna back up so y'all can really see. And there's the camper. We're waiting on the top to come in for it. That's delayed. That's where Nanny's, that's where Nanny is. So we're still waiting on that. Okay, this is going into that 12 by 12. It actually makes sense, y'all. A whole lot of screws and things are up on the walls, but we can put our hands on it. Here in the center, other than these two blue, my blue wash bucket and my bird feed bucket, all of this is fishing. So he can get his hands on it when he needs, you know, to get his fishing stuff out. But I can actually walk all the way around and these were shelves that I had. We put them back together. And we got to close in a gap up here because it will rain. It does leak. But, oh, and why I am here, there is the straw that I use. It's called Easy Straw. It's seeding mulch with tack. Now, I won't remove this. After the garden season's done, I will actually till this in. I do it every year. But there is what I use. It covers 500 square feet. It's 99% weed free. And it's 15 bucks at tractor supply. But it covers 500 square feet. That's a lot of square footage when you're dealing with beds. Okay. Here we go. Y'all love my video, and don't you? I think I hear a horse fly. Lord, don't get me. And then in this corner, since I don't need right now, you remember that yellow bucket I showed y'all that's full of all of these um, um, seed containers and trays and all? We've tucked that down in there. But as you can see, you can take a small space and you can house a lot of stuff. Now, in these cans is for our rabbits and our chickens. We've had this for two years, waiting to be able to unwrap. Well, guess what? The time has come. We're getting rabbits and chickens. And then what I did was I took some nails, had Buddy help me, and we put all of our bag chairs up at the top. Remember, no different than adding shelves in a house. And as you can see, you can go about a foot inside this 12 by 14. So yes, this is next week. It is slap packed full. Ooh, it's 85 degrees, but it's cooler. In, well, no, it's getting cool now. I was able to put the air on, but there you go. Uh, I think it turned out better than what we even expected, and I really didn't think we were going to get it done in a full weekend, but we worked from daylight till dark. It's just an amazing transformation. So we're going to, like I said, do the front, and I mean, do the front building, empty it out next weekend, and get it done too. And this way, we can see what we need, put our hands on it until each proper building is built. The garden shed, you saw how much garden stuff, once the garden shed gets built with all the material we're getting for free, 
that's gonna free up space. So I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna give me some water. I'm a little too hot for coffee. Write that down. And then I'm gonna actually video a recipe that one of our friends in the comment, subscriber, I don't like saying that word, I like to say friends, sent me and I wanna display it because I'm going to a ball game tomorrow and I'm bringing this dessert to the grandkids. And, and I'll also show you how I do cube steak. That's on tomorrow's video, but I might as well video today and that because tomorrow, you know, I'm not gonna have time. And that was another one of them things. That was not a horse fly. That was one of them beetle bugs. I think they coming from the pine trees. Y'all know if I can't eradicate them, I'm gonna take these damn pine trees. That slap out. No, I won't, I'm lying. They probably charge $5,000 a tree and we ain't got but like 12. Yep, I'm lying. Y'all know I'm lying. <laughs> All right, y'all. Until next time, as always, stay safe. God bless. And you new subscribers, new friends, stick around. It's a blast at the Lippy Show. I'm just saying.